Hi everyone, welcome back. So up till now we have created a hotel booking bot which is uh, collecting the name, uh, email and how many persons we want to book for the photo floor and room type. So something is missing, something is still missing. Our hotel booking bot is not actually booking the hotel. It's just saying that your hotel booking request forwarded. So if we want to actually book hotel with our bot. So uh, Earlier we have discussed that there are three building blocks of dialect flow which is intent, entity and fulfillment. So we have explored intent, then what is intent, why we use it and we have discussed the entity and created an entity and last thing is, is still remaining which is fulfillment. So we are uh, going to understand what is fulfillment. But before understanding the fulfillment we have to understand firebase functions. Firebase functions why? because we have to connect our bot with a server where we connect our database and we will write the business logic and we will actually place the order in database for hotel booking so let's get a start so simply you have to write in google getting a start with firebase function and you will be um you'll be right here okay here is the document of firebase function we are in a getting a started section you can read introduction and what you can do with it if you, if you want to read more about it but um, i'm going to simply getting a start with the firebase function so for getting start you have first install firebase tools you simply go to command prompt or terminal if you are um, using linux or mac and install here okay you may not found the npm in your pc yeah if you are if you are getting a message npm is not recognized command or something so you have to install node.js node.js you can simply download it here node.js is available for three platforms uh, linux windows and mac so you have to install the latest, uh, uh, sorry, LTS version, which is 8.9.1. LTS stands for long term support. Or you can also install the current version, which is 9.2.0. But this is not recommended. Uh, recommended is LTS, long term support. Okay, after installing the Firebase tools, we have to run the command Firebase login, which will authenticate our uh, console to the Firebase. We will complete the installation. Okay, it is installed. So, we have to run the firebase login command okay it's saying you're already logged in with this email because i have al already logged in actually okay so next you have to initialize the firebase function project but we will not do this here we will not do this here we will go to a directory we will go to a directory here it is fire this functions and here we will write cmd and the command prompt is open in this exactly this directory which is project learning chatbot and fiber function and we will initialize our project here right so to initialize project we simply write fiber init functions okay are you proceed ready to proceed yes okay it's asking for uh, for which project you can Okay, it is initializing a project. Meanwhile, I am going to show you something. You 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 have to go here, go to console. If you don't ha have already Firebase account, you have to make a Firebase account by signing up here, so you can log in uh, here later. I have some some projects on Firebase here. Some are private, some are public. You can also create a project from here and then connect to to this project. In, in, such as I selected do not set up the project so when I deploy this fiber function 
to Firebase, it will ask again for the project. So I will tell project them. So you must have a, a Firebase account to make Firebase functions. It is simple. It is, it is very simple. Simply sign out. Signing out. Okay. Simply you click sign in here. Okay. It will ask you to enter your password if you have already logged in with Google account. If you have not logged in, it will ask you to enter the email. You click next. And you are and you're here. And simply click here, Google Console. Okay. It takes a little time to initialize the project. Okay, come back to our folder. Come back to our folder. We are going to use the VS Code editor, but you can use the editor of your choice. If you are if you are handy with uh, some other editor, you can you can use it. No issue. Okay, it is initialize the project here. The yeah, file this function projects. Okay, the first file here is mm, index.js. In this file, we will write our business logic. We will write our small functions and deploy it. Here is the package.json. This this file uh, keeps the dependencies. Uh, no need to uh, uh, change this file. Just leave as it is. Uh, here is the node modules, which is the actual dependencies. Okay. No need to no need to uh, uh, dive in this this folder. Just, just concentrate on this file, index.js. Okay, so here they have created a small function for us. We just have to uncomment. Okay, here's a simple function name hello world, and this is syntax of creating a new function. This is a request, this is a response, and simply. Here is the body of our function. We, we can write any any business logic right here, and it runs on simply Node.js, simple JavaScript. Okay, we are simply sending the response "Hello world," "Hello from Firebase." We are going to change it. Hello world function, and you can make as many as function you want, such as I can make "Hello world" to hello world 2 with a hello world 2 and simply the third function hello world 3 and I'm going to deploy it okay to deploy the project, you simply have to open the terminal in this uh, folder. I am using the VS Code editor. It have a built-in facility uh, to open the terminal here. You can open this uh, by by clicking Control plus Backtick. So you are right here. So it is it is a simple uh, command prompt. You can write DIR here and it will respond. Okay. So see this. Okay. To deploy this project. Um, I'm going back to the documentation what it is saying about deploy here they are describing how to deploy and execute the add message function we can simply write firebase deploy minus minus only and function so here we go okay okay it is saying no project active run with minus minus project id okay so we have to make a project on Firebase console right here. So 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 just go to firebase.com console.firebase.google.com right. Go here. Okay. Add a project. Mm, you were two project away from the project limit. Okay. Um, Firebase dash. Okay. 
functions. Okay, country region, United States. You can change it uh, when you are in production, and you, you you when you want quick response time, you you can select it. Leave as it is for now. Create a project. Okay, we have created uh, a project on Firebase console. Okay, simply our project ID is right here. Copy this project ID. Um, you can also find it project setting. Yeah. Here is our project ID. Here is our project ID. Copy this and right here firebase use and project id and enter okay so it is saying now using this project okay now we can run firebase deploy firebase deploy and enter okay the firebase provide all the things like database storage hosting functions and authentication so so when you're deploying the document is saying that you have to do firebase deploy minus minus only function it means only deploy functions so so we have right here firebase deploy so it will deploy all the things if you have so currently we don't have any hosting in any database we only have the function so we can write firebase deploy right here and it will deploy the function and the first deploy may take some time uh, because it enables some apis okay our functions are successfully deployed and we have three urls each url for each function so first we are going to try the first url uh, simply control click control plus click will let you to this url okay here is the url and here is the response hello world function and now try the second one oh, second one where is second one okay second one is in last i don't know why try second one hello world 2 function and then try third one hello world 3 function Okay. Okay, we have uh, three functions here. Now, for a while, forget the data flow and concentrate on the Firebase function. We are going to revise everything in <coughs> in a glance. Okay. What we have done up to now? Um. Close everything. Firebase.com. Okay, sign in here. We are we are revising all the things, right? Okay, so go to firebase.com, sign in here, go to console. Okay, after going console, create a project here. Where is our project? Here. Yeah. Our project is right here. Create a project. Okay, go inside the project. Here, project setting. Okay, keep uh, keep not our project ID. Okay, keep not our project ID. Then go to getting started Firebase function. Okay, the document is right here. Simply, we are in a getting started section of Firebase function. Okay, simply install the Firebase tools yeah, using your terminal, your CLI, your command prompt. Um, okay, if you are not getting npm in your command prompt and the message is saying npm is not recognized as a command or something, you simply install Node.js first. You can simply install Node.js from here. We recommended long-term support, which is 8.9.1. You can simply click here, download it, and install it on uh, all three platforms uh, for Linux, Windows. I'm using Windows, so it is it is uh, automatically detecting. I'm using Windows X64. And you, can, you can you can download it for all three platforms: Mac, Linux, and Windows. Okay, right. 
So install the Firebase tools here. Login to Firebase if you are not logged in already. Initialize your first functions in, in, in your project directory. You can initialize, you can do this command to initialize the project. Okay, right. Here is the project. They are describing what is the pro, uh, what is the structure of project and, and, and defining the each each file, what each file does. Okay. And then you create a simple hello world function which we have created here. Which we have created. We have created three functions with simple uh, with simple responses, simple string responses. Okay. Then you can simply deploy it. You can simply deploy it. When you're deploying, it may say uh, there is no project, so you can simply relate it by using by using uh, the command Firebase minus minus use or not minus minus Firebase use, and you can simply paste the ID of your project and press enter. Okay, and then you simply write Firebase deploy to deploy your function. To, to, to this project okay you want to see your functions deployed or not simply back to firebase project and go to function section and it'll show your projects okay here we have deployed three functions you can check logs for each function by going here view logs and you can also go here it is really string log for all functions like function 2 function 3 and hello world you can simply uh, check here or here okay we want to check logs three or two oh, not at all done so it will show lots of two functions okay yes two and here is three okay it's time we're doing itself um, I'm simply putting this uh, code in my repository in my repository right here right here I'm going to ignore this node module always ignore this when putting in a uh, github repository simply comment functions Getting started with functions. Okay, right, commit and push. Okay, file this function is right here. First, try to do it yourself. If, if not successful, you can simply pull the code from here. Okay. Okay. See you in your next video. Uh, in next video, we will we will connect our bot with these functions to write our business logic um, to, to to put uh, these informations in our database. Uh, uh, and, and we are going to do an actual looking. Okay. See you next video. Bye bye.